Hey loves, Tarly here. Well, weight loss challenge number four is still going on, but we are on our last days. But I still want to share with you the highlights of week four, which is from June 19th, 2014 to June 25th, 2014. Is it just me or is, isn't a weight loss journey supposed to have steps on what you did to lose the weight? It's just before and after pics here, babe. Right? Realizing you have to think differently. So I weighed in at 148.8 pounds on June 25th, 2014. Uh, my body fat was 23.5% and a BMI of 24.1. Now compared to last week um, on June 18th, 2014, that's a weight loss of 3.2 pounds, a decrease of 0.2 in my body fat, and a decrease of 0.4 in my BMI. So I thought I would have lost a little bit more in my body fat percent, but I'm just so grateful for the weight lost in general. I've increased my weight training, but you just never know when it's actually gonna show up on like your body fat percent or your weight scale. Just to show you, you just have to keep going, keep pushing, even if you're not getting the results that you're looking for right away. So a lot of our BBBs are trying new things, especially in the workout. This way we do not get bored, right? Jenny, for example, she did some CrossFit by pushing heavy tires. This exercise is crazy, people. Myself did some CrossFit. I uh, tried the heavy rope training. Oh my goodness, you feel it in your entire body. Dina and I, we did some hip hop cardio as well, which is kind of different than regular Zumba. We definitely had a lot of fun. A lot of our BBBs also share their transformation and weight loss stories. For example, Tamika. March of this year, Tamika was 168 pounds. By June and the end of this challenge, she's 130 pounds. So of course, all our ladies and BBBs is, what's your secret? What have you been doing? And she states, just eating right, running and hiking, but above all, my eating has been consistent. I do allow indulges every once in a while. I have been quite eccentric with my diet. Above all, I eat clean. But at first, I just exclusively ate clean. Then I did a liver detox and bowel cleanse that required a strict diet. I only lost nine pounds with that, but that really jump started the weight loss. Then I went an entire month eating no sugar, which I don't eat bread, pasta, or refined carbs anyway. I even cut out sugar. Now I exclusively eat raw, fruit included, but I am flirting with becoming a vegetarian. Not sure yet. I just got burnt out of eating the same thing for three months straight. I won't say I won't ever eat meat again, but I love seafood and I can tolerate lunch meat still, but the other meat no longer appeal to me. Great advice, Tamika. I love that you said you only did the detox and the cleanse for just a jump start. But I hope everyone noticed that she was on a strict diet, which is super important. Eating clean is definitely the way to go. You are such an inspiration, Tamika. Keep up the awesome work. So another one of our BBBs, Cree, she says, Hi, everyone. This post has been three months coming, LOL. What have I been up to? Well, the last time I was here, I was 172 pounds. I was 230 when I started. Thanks to this group, I had lost 50 plus pounds. Anywho, I got pregnant. It was an extremely rough pregnancy. I was on bed rest for my first and third trimester due to bleeding and hypertension. Ooh, I gained a total of 80 pounds. Yes, 80 pounds on my delivery date, March 21st, 2014. I was 250 
0.6 pounds. Needless to say, I delivered a healthy 10 pound, five ounce baby boy via C-section and quickly lost 30 pounds. Praise God. Currently, I am 211.2 pounds and find it challenging every day to exercise and eat healthy so I could get out the 200s and back on track. Well, knowing Cree, she's amazing. She's a go-getter and I know she's going to get back in the 170s in no time. Just stick with us, hon. Stay close and may God continue to bless you and your beautiful baby boy. Your story is so inspiring. So Jessica, one of our BBBs, shared with us a situation between her and her son. And I feel no matter if you're in a weight loss or not, if you're a mom or not, everyone can relate to this. So here it goes. So her six-year-old son says, Mom, look at this bracelet I made. Jessica states, cool, let me try it on. Her son states, wait, I'm not finished with it yet. You've got to have patience. Sometimes you want good things to happen right away, but you have to have patience if you want it to be finished and beautiful. While he finished up the bracelet by adding buttons, I went into deep thought. I then began to tear up. Here I am beating myself up thinking I'm never going to lose this weight when all I need is a little or a lot of patience. This really touched home because like I said, everyone can relate to this and look how God uses Jessica's six year old son to show her that it's not that she's doing anything wrong, it's just that we just need that special ingredient, patience. I definitely know exactly how you feel Jessica. I also need a lot of patience, but I mean, your son is very talented, love the bracelet, and the message that he gave not only you, but all of us is just absolutely incredible, and I feel like it's just God at work. So just keep close, hon. I know you'll lose the weight, Jessica. Just never give up. So of course it's summertime and a lot of us are going on vacation. One of our BBBs, Daris, she went on vacation and she says, the scale does not lie. Here is a gain of 6.8 pounds. As you can see, I did work out on my cruise, but only twice. The only thing I did hold true to was water. I drank a lot of that. No soda, minimal juice, and yeah, some alcohol consumption. Shake my head. But boy, did I get back on it this morning and went jogging. Something I never do. And I'm still on the East Coast time, so I did it early. Gonna get some more cardio in today. Have a great one, ladies. I love this attitude, Diaries. This is a winner right here. Yes, she gained some weight, but that's okay. God woke her up this morning and she just started over. That's the game. That's how you get through the journey. And I love this quote that Diaries also put up. You have to get up every morning and tell yourself, I can do this. That is what I am talking about. Go ahead, Diaries. I know you're going to get back on track in no time. With that, let's go ahead and get into the verse of the day. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. Proverbs 12 verse 1. As you can see, we really are a family here. And if you want to join the family by becoming a better body buddy or BBB, go to Tarly's Weight Loss Journey on Facebook. It's a close Facebook group and ladies only. Well, that's all I have for you today. Till next time. God bless, and I wish you well. I'm so grateful that you're watching. To hear more of my two cents, subscribe now. Want me to shout out or talk more? Let me know in the comment box below. Want to see how I lost 10.8 pounds in one week? Go to ajandtaraonthegrind.com. And after that, make sure you check out my website, taralees2cents.com. Never forget, faith and fitness goes hand in hand. God bless.